my dear fellow citizens of the world distinguished scientists clinicians ladies and gentlemen i am dr mohammed adil from the united kingdom i am a qualified surgeon fellow of the royal college of surgeons of adamra uk and ireland and i have been working as a consultant surgeon specialist in general colorectal breast and laparoscopic surgery with 30 years of unblemished medical record while working for the national health services of the united kingdom early 2020 was extraordinary start of the year due to emergence of SARS COVID-2 virus from the city of Wuhan which changed the entire world within no time the borders of the 195 countries were closed down and UK was completely shut down with serious restrictions on the the public personal and private lives which seriously affected the treatment of the patients especially the cancer patients who were under my investigations for cancer of the breast and the colorectal cancers i had no choice but to go on the social media in order to alleviate the stress and anxiety created by the mainstream media and the government agents Secondly I initiated a robust scientific debate with the other clinician and the scientists to reach the root cause analysis of the SARS CoV-2 virus for the benefits of the patients and the public This was not appreciated by my trust medical establishment nhs and the medical regulator and i was suspended by the general medical council for 24 months within 3 days notice i was not provided the gmc bundle during the skype hearing with the interim order tribunal on my request 256 pages were delivered to me by the interim order tribunal and i was asked to go through them in within 90 minutes to return for further hearing which i found extremely difficult and stressful on my return after 90 minutes i was suspended for 2 years by the general medical council with delegations of my personal view point on the social media delivered in couple of my videos regarding covid-19 virus i had not a single complaint from my patients i had no clinical ethical or property issue to be crucified for 24 months by the general medical council after 2 years my suspension was further extended for another 6 months by the medical professional tribunal in manchester which i attended myself because i was unable to afford the cost of the legal advisers i had no choice but to go to the high court for justice unfortunately on 15th of october uh, february 2023 my case was under represented by my legal advisors with poor understanding of the entire scenario of my case so which resulted in loss of my appeal so i had to go for the senior high court for the justice 
which was heard on 17th of October 2023 in the Royal Court of Justice. But unfortunately, there was no additional grounds made by my legal representative to contest my case in my favor. So that was unfortunately dismissed by the High Court once again. Now I have been through huge injustice not only by the General Medical Council but also by two appeal courts. I have a very strong case to be put as an appeal to the Supreme Court for several reasons. Number one, I have suffered huge injustice by the Medical Professional Tribunal, General Medical Council and the Medical Establishment. Secondly, there has been glaring defects in the judgment made by the two appeal courts which are open to the scrutiny by the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. Thirdly, my case sounds for the Supreme Court good for the reasons that I have been treated brutally by the GMC whose actions were extremely vindictive in removal of me as a highly skilled, experienced and kind surgeon treating thousands of my patients who were under my care, especially the cancer patients of the breast and the colorectal cancers. But unfortunately, my suspension resulted loss of their opportunity for continuing their treatment. Therefore, thousands of breast, bowel cancers and the others seriously ill patients who required urgent treatment under my care were seriously neglected. Fourthly, it is established fact that the needs of patients with potential symptoms of the cancer and other debilitating diseases, those who were diagnosed positive for the cancers are not being treated as they deserve to be treated. Since lockdown imposed on 22nd of March 2020, Moreover, unmeasured number of fellow humans are dead already who fail to have or complete their treatment on time and many more are still dying due to neglect and being unattended when they might have lived and many will be having very distressing and painful symptoms because of the cancers and other serious and debilitating advanced diseases which have gone to the later stage.
I, I could have saved their misery and life if I had investigated and treated my cancer patients timely rather than being paralyzed by the medical regulator. Therefore, I have lodged another appeal against the decision made by two appeal courts who had validated GMC and the MPTS unlawful decisions against my prolonged suspension order without any clinical concern whatsoever, which is highly vindictive, sclerotic, bureaucratic, cruel, with racial injustice, discrimination, and victimization. Vast majority of my doctor colleagues and counterparts are speaking out on the social media platforms and interviewing on the daily basis. But MPTS and the General Medical Council responded to the complainants and the member of the public that it's doctors' right to give their opinion over the social media. But they are treated differently. Where is my right of opinion has gone? Which clearly shows that I have been treated differently and have been singled out compared to my local counterparts. Some of the doctors even had been involved in the serious crime in committing sexual misconduct not only with their patients but with their relatives and junior colleagues within the hospital premises in taking their pictures and blackmailing them for years and years. But they got away by the General Medical Council and the MPTS just on warning, but no action was taken against them. That's why my new lawyers found good reasons to knock the doors of the Supreme Court for the justice to look into the case properly, which has not been considered by the appeal courts. The legal process has been extremely expensive as you know, an upcoming step may cost up to or over 50,000 pounds to go to the Supreme Court. I seek your kind support in this indoors, as these legal actions have implication for each and every one of us in the strange time of the century fiasco. This case holds paramount significance as it revolves around our fundamental rights to express ourselves freely and maintain our independent views and freedom of speech and expression. Please do consider donating whatever you can in order to support this cause. I am standing for integrity and justice, and I need your help for this endeavor to secure this justice after 40 months of continuous suspension, which has seriously damaged my career, my reputation, with loss of job and income, and the livelihood of my family and their education. Please donate generously through just giving crowdfunding campaign and some other 
sources which I have mentioned in this speech. I shall be most grateful for your kind support for this ongoing efforts and seeking for the justice for everyone. Many thanks. All the best. Bye for now.